This is Twit. So emoji uh, are more like they're they're socially relevant. I mean, you know that. Uh, I think people make fun of that a lot. But really, um, they do you think that they reflect what's going on in the world? I mean, with you know changes with the skin color emoji, and then you know with the different families. Um, how, how do you think they reflect what's going on in the world? And are they a little bit ahead or behind? I think sometimes they're ahead. It depends on where you look in the world, right? If um, Some countries are more conservative than other countries, but there's no doubt that companies like Apple, Google, they, they want to reflect what their users want. And they also kind of want to project their corporate values, let's say. They, so it's sort of a mix. Sometimes they work well. Sometimes those two things are in alignment and then something will happen. Um, I, th we, I think emoji often is somewhat ahead of the curve. It, it's aware that there's a representation side of it. It's not just Unicode is a standards body. In theory, you'd only encode things that are going to be the most popular. But there has to be some wiggle room because like, otherwise every minority wouldn't get anything on a keyboard. You'd mm -hmm. go, well, too bad, you're too small. And that's not how we feel like a fair society should work. Mm -hmm. So um, things like skin tones were added a few years ago. That was probably a pretty big oversight. Either when they came from Japan, either the emoji should have been converted to make them all just smileys, maybe throw the humans out would have been an easy option in retrospect. Possibly that would have been the best option is to get rid of all the humans and just have the circular people. Um, but since you had people, you can't just have only white people on a keyboard and you can't have just the active roles being men, which was the other problem mm -hmm. that people had, that the runner was a man, the girl doing this was a woman, mm -hmm. the police officer was a man, the girl doing this was a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. was, um, yeah, the, the definite issues like that. And right now, Unicode's looking at things like uh, couples with mixed skin tones. Uh, right now, they're mostly just excluded. You can't change a skin tone if there's more than one person mm -hmm. uh, because there's a lot of combinations if you can change every person. But drafted for this year, there's uh, two people holding hands, man and woman, two men, two women. Uh, potentially, this week, there's a discussion about also having two gender-inclusive people that have no specific gender assigned to them, also holding hands with different skin tones. Is there a gender-inclusive single emoji? There is. There's three that got added last year. So it's not universal, and that would be... That's where Unicode kind of dips their foot in the water, where some people would say, well, absolutely, every emoji should have three options. Mm -hmm. You have a man or a woman, and one that's somewhere sort of in, in the middle. Um, other people feel like they either don't want to see that or they just don't think it's important. Uh, so what Unicode did recently was they added a child, an adult, and an older adult. And they're sort of a pair for the boy and girl, the man and woman, and the older man and the older woman. Uh, but what you don't have are things like two people holding hands that don't have a gender. You mm -hmm. have to be men or women, and all the professions don't have a lack of gender. So Unicode's slowly adding more of those. I know there's been, I've talked to vendors, and some of them don't have a philosophical issue. They're just saying that we, it's hard to design. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're saying, like, if we make a person that's sort of in between, sort of non-gender specific, it kind of ends up looking like they're men quite often. You kind of squint and you see short-ish hair. Uh, I think that's a challenge, but I think they'll get to it. Mm -hmm. I, I do think that sometimes just for language purposes too, you want to say, like, oh, I went to the doctor and you don't want to have to pick the man or the woman doctor, I'm going to see the doctor or something. Right. Sometimes gender is, it's not even about just self-representation. Yeah. Sometimes it's just practical. You just want to say like, oh yeah. Um, yeah, the, the firefighter came around and you don't want to go, was it a woman or was it a man? So maybe if there was a, a middle ground, you could go, doesn't matter. I'll yeah. just pick the middle one. Well, I, when I was research, researching for this article, I, I uh, read a piece of, you had been interviewed by Megan Rose Dickey for TechCrunch, um, and she is black, and she um, said that she had texted back and forth with a friend who used the black, the darker skin toned emoji, and she thought the person, she had assumed the person was white, uh, but then she reached out to her, and she said, Yes, I am white. And she said, why do you use the dark yeah, colored yeah, yeah. skin emoji? And the, the woman responded that she felt like it would be oppressive to use the white colored skin emoji. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, it's not. That's, you know, it, it's sort of the other way. Like, it feels like you're appropriating. It's weird when you use the black skin tone. Yeah. 
if when you're white, let's yes. say. And yeah. And I all like I always use the yellow one. Like that's just my that's my way of saying. Um but what Megan pointed out, Megan Rose Dickey said that um like when every white person uses the yellow one, it becomes the white person emoji. So it's like all the white people using the yellow and then why don't we just express who we are? So I thought, well that's a good point. So I've started using the white person emoji. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I still use the yellow. Um, I, I absolutely understand the position. It's a tricky position that, as a white person, the yellow is close enough. Honestly, yeah. if if you, especially for the families, that's always been a bit of beef that a lot of Emojipedia users, we get some feedback about having sort of, uh, I want a family member where it looks more like me with blonde hair or red hair, but nearly all the feedback is always, we want a family with darker skin tone. And you never get that from white families because the yellow is close enough. It's mm -hmm. not meant to be white, mm -hmm. but in reality, it looks close enough to a white family. But if you have a black family, it looks nothing like you, mm -hmm. you know, and it's all fun. You've got all the individual emojis of a black man, black woman, black thumbs up. And then you've got the yellow family. But really, it's not meant to be white. It looks kind of white. Yeah. Um, I think it is weird when white people use a black thumbs up. Like, what are you trying to say? Yeah. Like, you know, it's sort of, uh, are you trying to be funny? Is, is that... Is it, is it an attempt at humor? Yeah. If it's not humor, I, I don't even know why, what the purpose would be of that. Right. Well, it. I mean, it's sort of, there's the idea of like the minstrel shows that it brought up with Megan, mm. Megan, you know, and it's like, that's something you might not have even thought about, but yeah. that is, I mean, it's, it's part of your identity and yeah, I think it makes sense if, you know, you don't want to hurt someone. I, I don't want to un unintentionally hurt someone. No. Even with emoji. Yeah. And, and on, honestly, I mean, these issues dip into real societal issues where, mm -hmm. for instance, white power is very different than black power. You know, there's mm -hmm. sort of, there are cultural issues whereby if you're a minority group in any way, it might be fine. But it's easier to say I'm proud to be black than I'm proud to be white. Yes, they're fine statements, but out of context, they're very tricky mm -hmm. situations. And sometimes some nerds or some people that get into the standards, they're very like, well, what's the difference? It's all the same. And you're like you have to view these in the society we're in and if any group is being sort of oppressed in any way it's more probably it's it's better that you can say well yeah be proud of who you are mm -hmm. it's tougher to be saying white power isn't a thing that you want to be out there promoting and that's why i'm a little bit conscious of things like the white thumbs up am i trying to be like this is a white thumbs up yeah or am i just trying to send a thumbs up so for me i send the yellow but i i try to not ascribe ill intent to anyone because right. n not everyone no one's sending them my grandparents aren't sending me a white thumbs up yeah. because they're thinking white power they're just right. doing it because they go oh cool yeah. it's kind of like my hand